Last week I shared a picture on Instagram of me shopping in the bulk section of my grocery store and I got a ton of questions and positive feedback about bulk shopping and so I'm going to talk today primarily about how I shop with my glass jars and how I shop plastic free. So I'll start off with why I shop in the bulk section. The first reason is I'm trying my best to eliminate unnecessary plastic disposables. And for me, shopping in bulk is a super easy way to do that. I'll either use a glass jar to shop or a mesh bag or a canvas bag. I'll use those products instead of the one-use plastic bags that they have in the store. I am in no way at a zero waste level like some really amazing people on YouTube, but I am doing what works for me and I'm doing my best to be kind of a conscious consumer. I still buy, you know, mascara in a plastic container. I buy Prismacolor markers that are plastic, but starting with my groceries has been a really easy way for me to reduce my plastic. The second reason that I like to shop in bulk is it really simplifies my routine. I do have to do a little bit of prep before I go to the grocery store, so I have to get my kind of grocery kit together. But once I'm at the store and once I bring the products home from the store, it's a really streamlined and simple process and I love that. It also saves me a lot of money shopping in bulk. I want to say that I save at least 30% on a weekly basis. And the third reason that I like to shop in bulk is that it really helps me to eat quality foods. I'm buying these raw ingredients and then making them into things myself, so I'm not eating a ton of preservatives. I also feel like I'm not wasting as much food as I used to because I can see all of my food in the glass jars in the pantry. I I don't buy things until I'm done with what I have, so I go through my food on a consistent basis. Now I'll get into how I shop in the bulk section. So like I said earlier, it does take a little bit more preparation to shop this way, but it's really nothing crazy. I mean, once you get in the habit of it, it's easy and it's not a big deal. So for me, before I go to the grocery store, I get my grocery kit together. And this consists of my reusable grocery bag, some mesh bags that I typically use for produce, some canvas bags that I use if I'm buying coffee beans, and then my glass jars. I also make sure that I have a Sharpie with me and this just makes it easier when the cashier is writing the tear weight on my jars. They don't have to try to find a piece of tape to write it on or paper. They just write it directly onto the bottom of my jar. I also like to bring little stainless steel containers sometimes if I'm going to buy anything from the deli section or the olive bar. After I have everything together and I head to the grocery store, the first thing I do is go to one of the cashiers and get my jars weighed. After that's all done, I'll just head back to the bulk section and fill up my jars and bags. I'll take the Sharpie and write the bulk number directly onto the bottom of the jar, or sometimes I'll take a photo of it, or if I'm using a canvas bag, I'll even write the bulk number onto the bag with the bulk pencils that they have in the store, and it's really that easy. I personally like to use glass jars because those are the jars that I end up storing my food in. This is helpful for me because I know that I'm not gonna overbuy an ingredient and then not have any place to put it. And I also like to use these mason jars because they have cup marks on them. So if I'm shopping for a recipe and I need a half a cup of some specialty ingredient like golden raisins, for example, I bought last week, I know that I'm not gonna overbuy and have leftover, you know, of this random product that I'm not gonna use in anything else. I'm only buying what I need. It takes a little bit longer for the cashier to process your transaction at the end because they have to manually enter the weight into the system. They have to usually do it on a separate calculator and when it's really busy that can take a little bit longer and be a little bit frustrating maybe but for the most part it's usually fine and in my experience my cashiers will comment and be and say things like this is so much better than using plastic or you know this is so cool that you're doing this it's usually always a positive experience so if i need something from the grocery store last minute and don't want to take the time to find clean jars and get them weighed ahead of time and stuff i'll just bring canvas bags and that works perfectly well also it's really easy and you don't have to get them weighed ahead of time because the tear weight of the canvas bags is so close to the tear weight of the um, 
plastic bags, you're not paying an additional price for the weight of the bag. So that's a great option for you. If you want to start shopping in bulk and you don't want to use plastic, you can buy canvas bags on Amazon, or you can even make your own using an old t-shirt. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys shop in bulk or if you want to start. Again, I highly recommend it. It's totally simplified my grocery shopping from week to week, and I love just the high quality ingredients that I can get for so much cheaper using my own containers. Before I sign off, I wanted to update you guys on a couple things. So when this video is uploaded, I believe it's going to be February, so happy February. I'm going to start my capsule wardrobe videos again this month. My first one will be up Thursday and it'll be my winter capsule. I know it's been winter for a couple months now, but I feel like it's better late than never and I'm really happy with what I put together for this capsule. Also, my husband Nick started a YouTube channel and he is super excited about vlogging, so definitely check out his channel. I'll have it linked below if you guys are interested. He's really, really talented and his vlogs are really interesting, so definitely check them out. And that's it. I'll see you guys on Thursday with my capsule wardrobe video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.